SoCal Spotlight. We're headed about 50 miles east of downtown LA to Norco. The city offers a distinctive blend of rural charm and urban convenience that's hard to resist. And Sheba Turk takes us inside a farming apprenticeship that teaches students how to grow fresh fruits and vegetables and take them from farm to table. And I love that you have your little friend there. You two look like a natural fit. Oh, thanks. I don't want to let her go, Ruta Bay. I'm feeling like a farmer already. This is Storm. You're probably wondering how she got that name. I gave it to her five minutes ago. <laughs> she looks like a gray storm cloud to me. <laughs> but we're having a blast here at this training farm in Norco. I'm going to put my chicken down. I feel like such a little farm girl and trade her in for a pumpkin because they've got those here too. It's such a great time here and really a great learning opportunity for anyone who wants it. Chris Fauche and Patrick Mitchell are the co-directors and they're joining me this morning to tell me more about the program. Guys, tell us more about EAT. So um, we are a, a small farm training program. We run a 10 month apprenticeship program. We do workshops, special events. Uh, we're part of a larger network of education programs from five key schools and programs. Uh, we run the Ecological Agriculture Training Center and Farm. You're at the farm today. Uh, we grow 50 different varieties of fruits and vegetables. We've got chickens, turkeys, ducks, sheep, you name it. We're, it's it's a, a all encompassing small farm um, training farm so people can come here and get hands on experience and, and learn to start their own farm. What an amazing opportunity. Well, show me around this morning okay. and tell me what made you guys want to start something like this. Well, we have um, we've worked um, in farm education for about uh, 10 years. Mm -hmm. We actually used to run a farm training program with the LA Sheriff's Department at Pitches Detention Center. Mm -hmm. And we recognized through that program how important it would be to um, offer this to the entire community. And so we worked with the city of Norco to um, establish this program. And and we now have partners throughout the region. And, and um, you know, one of the things we learned, especially during COVID, was how important a local food supply is. Mm -hmm. And so if we can help establish more farmers and and set up more farms, there's more local food, the, the community becomes um, safer, healthier, and, and more resilient. Yeah, this is really cool. And so what does it take to become a farmer? What does the apprenticeship program look like? Well, it, it's a 10-month program. We cover everything from soil, to um, up through horticulture, animal ag, um, marketing, pest control, and we end with a business planning component so that at the end of the 10 months, every person who's completed the program leaves with a farm and business plan ready to start their own farm. Wow, and so, this is very fitting for the area because we understand Norco residents have a lot of land. Yes, so the average lot size in the city of Norco is about a half an acre. Mm -hmm. um, and we basically, the program we teach allows you to make about $3.50 per square foot. So that's a $70,000 half acre farm. Really cool. Okay, so what are we looking at here? So here we got your peppers, Pat. What kind of peppers are these? Uh, these are Serrano peppers, mm -hmm. and um, they're they're a little bit spicy. So we'll see if you guys can handle it. Oh, great! So what are we ending with here? We're gonna do a little hot pepper challenge. Of course. Okay, me and you. Pe hot is not my thing. I'm because you. mine either. Is it a Friday though? If Sheba doesn't almost die. Okay. I'll so let me it. how hot is this compared to what? Well, I would say compared to my uh, ability to handle heat, it mm. didn't kill me. Okay, great. He didn't die. That's it's very promising. Thank you. you Here we go. All right. I'm scared. <laughs> it hasn't kicked in yet, guys. I got a little. Okay, I won the ghost pepper challenge. Happy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> Get some milk. Yeah, I don't I don't feel anything. If there's a cow on this is not uh, bad standby. At all. <laughs> right when you go off camera, it's, it's gonna hit you. Yes. Shiva, thank you. <laughs> Maybe so. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Shiva.